Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today I have a guide for you guys. And this guide is going to be pretty much explaining your character information. So, our character information is down here as you push C. And as you can see, you can see your gender, your current level of your character, your class, your character class level, along with your in-game name. And now we're going to talk about all the equipment you can equip. You pretty much equip a helmet, chest, waist, which is pretty much like a belt, and your hands and your feet. And right here, these are pretty much your professions like jobs, and both of these are fishing. And this one is pretty much get like gathering tools like pickaxe and like scissors that shape off wool. Right here is your glider, and yes, you can glide in game. And here are your costumes for your head, face, body, back, costume, and your weapon. Right here are just pretty much your outfits that have stats on them, but as you can see, this one does not have stats on it because it's a low one and you can pretty much get it through quests. And this one is just pretty much the normal one you start out with. Now, head and body do have stats on them. Your, even your weapon is supposed to have, like, your weapon costume is supposed to have, like, stats on them too. So, they're not, like, major stats, but they can still be useful. Now, the rest of the things you can equip is a cloak, necklace, ring, and two trinkets. And no, none of these equipments actually pop up as, you know, armor. Like, I could take this off. And as you see, I put those on my equipment, it's not gonna show. So, yeah, they still don't got that. They're pretty much going off of Dragonmon and AK instead of, you know, by other games they've made, uh, what was it, Grand Fantasia to change the color on different tiers of the gear. They're still not doing that. So we're going to move on to our primary and secondary stats. Our primary stats are pretty much our HP, attack, defense, evasion, which is pretty much like how big of a chance you have to dodge an attack. And haste is pretty much your attack speed and your casting speed of your skills. So haste is pretty much for those DPS characters and those who like to spam their skills. Now we're gonna move on to crit. Crit has a bigger chance of hitting lower level enemies. And the higher the enemy, the less chance of a crit you're gonna get. So do make sure to keep that in mind if you're not getting your crits, that's just because he's pretty much close to your level or higher than you. Now, here's your accuracy. I'm pretty sure that's just add on to the base accuracy of your whole character. And here's your crit damage. So do make sure your crit damage is high for those of you guys building like, I guess a crit build. Make sure this is pretty decent for fighting enemies. And this one is pretty high as well, which could be done through your specialization as you put on some skills and at point. Now we're going to move on to your movement speed. Your movement speed can be increased by some items in the game and even some equipment inside the game. So keep that in mind. Dying is pretty much like you could only dye your costumes if you were to have a costume that could be dyed. If it's, I'm pretty sure if it's still called custom, like something, I don't know. You just have to have like a gear that can be customized. Like I could try to put it here, but it won't work because this is not a custom costume. So yeah. And plus you would have to get dye from like the loyalty shop or actually purchasing it from the auction or from the actual item mall itself. Now your details over here is pretty much just telling you guys what things you have equipped like your outfit, your trinkets and everything. 
And over here is like your star stone and what you have equipped. And it also gives you guys if your offensive strength, like how much damage you deal to bosses, elites, and in PvP. And even over here, where you can pretty much see how much damage you can take in PvP and all that. But also in defense is pretty much how much XP you can get from defeating enemies for your class and your main character. And down here is pretty much your loot drop rate, which only increases on an item that increases loot drop rate. This one I already have on is a loot charm. That does not count. That is just pretty much like beating a boss and him dropping extra items automatically. So yeah. Loot charms are definitely something to hold on to and a lot better than I guess the drop rate of it. So do keep that in mind. But drop rate is still good for like other dungeons, all of that. So now we're going to move on to the final thing about character information, your titles. Now titles are pretty much like useful because they have stats on them. As you can see, I get plus 8 if I put these on and I get plus 16 haste if I had this one. Pretty sure it has a lot more. I can get plus 4 crit, plus 40 HP. Most of the other titles don't have like bonuses, plus 4 defense. Etc. Etc. I even have plus 16 evasion. So I'm gonna put on this title, which is my prefix, and my suffix title is pretty much gonna be comboed with something else that I have. And it doesn't seem like I. Okay, there we go. Faithful soldier. Oh, sail sailor. As you can see, it pops up above my head. I got my suffix and. Prefix. It even tells you what stats you're receiving from this. So that's actually pretty awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a lot more guides. And I hope this guide helped you guys out with just the little basics of the game. And I'm going to make some more basic guides for you guys. Then I'm going to get into some more advanced guides later down the um, journey. So I have another guide coming soon, so I'm going to be uploading two. But as of now, I'm just going to have these two guides for now, and I'm going to upload like me going through the game a little bit more. So yeah, it be uploading, I believe we're on part three of our adventure right here. We haven't got very far in the game yet, because normally I would probably be like level 37 by now. But, you know, we're doing it nice and slow through, like, a story. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Because <laughs> a lot of you guys wanted it. So, enjoy the playthrough. We'll see you guys next time. And further in the playthrough, I'll have more guides for you guys. Till then, peace out.